You have a full day to let this soak in. Just uh, what what was going through your mind when you got that call on Wednesday? Well, it's, it's been a dream to play for rugby professionally, especially in Chicago because it's the closest team, homegrown. Uh, some of my boys are playing for it. Noah Brown, he's from South Bend. And Bryce Campbell, he played at IU as well. So just knowing that call when I hate was just an unreal amount of happiness coming through joy. I celebrate with my friends and family who are around me. Uh, just very excited to play. Uh, so I play uh, sevens over in Chicago as well, uh, play there, so I knew some of their coaches going into it, knew some of their uh, staff as well and players, so they knew me from playing there or playing other in IU, uh, and then I left Chicago, played for USA for a little bit for sevens, U23s, and in Colorado, like the two weeks before we had that. Playing there was a lot of fun, uh, just grinding to get my skills up, and then we had a combine, like NMLR combine, uh, went, did the, went there, did good, it was in Mary Washington College. Uh, talked to more GMs there, like Noah Gold, uh, Dallas, and then as well as Chicago. Had a really good conversation with uh, Will McGee, the director of rugby there. So he's like really set me down. He's like, hey, uh, we're going to we're gonna try to draft you if you're still on the board. And so that when that call came, it was just an unreal amount of joy. Well, it sounds like, what, Chicago, they're only in their second season, yep. going into their second season, had a lot of success last year. How exactly do they see you fitting into their system? Uh, it's going to be a grind first just to see how me, I've never played, like, professional rugby yet, to the level they want me. So in the upcoming weeks, I'm going to go live up there and play for their D1 team. And uh, so we uh, may play against teams like Fort Wayne or teams from Indiana, other teams from Indiana, play there, see if they who they who they drafted that type of stuff and they put me on academy team and then later on play against like other pro teams academy teams see how that goes you talked a lot about your time at iu uh, some of your other international experience as well how has that helped prepare you for what's to come in this next phase of your rugby career all the coaches i've had has uh, prepped me to become a pro professional treat myself a professional like treat the body right uh act like a professional wear it uh, wear it high and everything so just going into this i'm very excited uh, i think i have a good idea of what i need to do for uh the games or practices and stuff like that just to keep my mind right and keep staying professional I believe I, I heard you in one interview just talking about how Indiana, you know, not exactly known for growing the game of rugby, but for you to kind of bring rugby on a, on a bigger stage like this in Northeast Indiana, how much pride do you take in that? Oh, an immense amount of pride, especially coming from how my dad's played here for 20 years before Wayne. I know a bunch of players, old boys who played before Wayne for 10 plus years. So just knowing being able uh, to represent them is something that I'll take in forever. Um, I guess just to, you kind of touched on this a little bit too, but just to, to soak in this moment with your loved ones, your family yesterday, uh, just ha what does that mean to you to celebrate this moment with them? Oh, it's unreal. Uh, I love I love my family. I hope everyone does, but like just love my mom and dad celebrating them when that call came. Uh, just seeing like they're drawing their faces and them videoing me and hugging me is it it something that I don't think will ever be replicated again. All right, Peyton, I think that's all I got for you. Anything else you want to add that I haven't asked already? Nah, just up the dogs, man, up the dogs. <laughs>